Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be giving you guys a general reading and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So lately, you have actually been working on something that might have been making you a little bit more money. So maybe this could be work, this could be a business, this could be a creative idea, anything. This could be something that you've been working on that you might be making a little bit more money than before, or a lot, it really doesn't matter. And you're, you're coming to like a lot of realizations. You might realize that you're like finally like ascending and like really like leveling up and you're finally knowing this in your intuition. So there is a male that's coming up in your career reading. I don't know why, but someone feels stuck because maybe they offered you something and you might have ignored them or just whatever. And you ignored this person because you felt like that was your justice. So this could be a boss. This could be a friend. This could be an ex. This could be your mother, your father, like literally anyone. But someone offered you something and they feel stuck because you didn't answer them or you just didn't even like acknowledge them but you felt like this was your justice so this could be anyone but um it's saying to definitely like maybe you've been giving more or you've been trying to be more kind or you've been trying to like reach out to more people or spread more love or like whatever you're doing you've been doing more and the, and yeah so this is my confirmation card and that came after that so anyway there's gonna be someone coming into your life who is actually going to make you pretty happy and this is going to be a part of your new cycle so yeah but in order for this to happen you're gonna have to you know you're gonna have to okay so lately you've been feeling really heartbroken about something maybe something didn't work out in your favor or just something didn't go right and you feel really heartbroken and i feel like this is like taking your mind off of things that you could be like you could be doing so much more, you know? And you're not because you, I feel like you're so stuck on like that situation and you're not even seeing that like, well, obviously you can't see your future, but you are you can't see that you're about to be in like a really good relationship or, or like a really healthy relationship. And yeah, like you can't see this. So you're heartbroken about like, you know, stuff from your past because you don't even see like that you're going to be in this new relationship and like you're going to come up with this new creative idea and it's going to like really go good for you and you feel like it hasn't been like coming fast enough like it's been taking a while and this is burdening you like you feel like you feel like am i doing the right thing am i like you know you feel like you're almost like, you feel like what if there's that chance that I'm just wasting my time and like cheating myself by not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But it's saying that you're gonna be having this creative idea that is what you are supposed to do. So what you're supposed to do is heal, realize that you can actually do it. First of all, stop telling yourself you can't. And anything that's negative in your life, any toxic people, people, anything toxic in your life, like cut off. And it's saying that you are gonna cut off and this is all like divinely guided to happen in divine timing. So it's saying you're gonna be like really happy, especially after you get this mental clarity of like what you need to do or like you're gonna finally take that step or like that extra step that's gonna bring you like complete like balance and it's gonna send you straight um, like on your new beginning. There's gonna be like, your emotions are gonna feel more stable. You're gonna be celebrating. Um, you're gonna be making more money. I see something like coming in that's really good and this is from Spirit and this is regarding money. So that could really be anything regarding money but it's something big, like it's a good amount of money. It's something that's gonna be really good for you. But anyways, so, you're really nervous to do something. You're really nervous to leave something behind. And you know, it's almost like your intuition is telling you you need to do this, but you're you're just kind of, you know, not seeing it or something. Like you're just confused about this, but you need to leave this. You need to leave this behind. Maybe there's some communication that you're holding on to. You're not letting this go from your past and it's affecting you. Like maybe someone communicated something harshly or was mean to you or someone communicated something to you and you're holding on to this and you need to let that, sh let it go. Let it go. It was from this male who said something to you or communicated something and you're just, you just keep, you know, holding on to that, replaying the past, which, I, you know, that's not going to do anything good. It's really not. It's really just cheating yourself if you really think about it, you know? So you're going to end up seeing this though. Like you're going to end up realizing this and 
you're gonna be like, you know what? Yeah, I, I can't see my future and I don't know if everything's gonna work out, but I'm gonna do it whether it works or whether it doesn't. You know what I mean? You're just gonna realize like, I don't even care anymore. Like you're just gonna push yourself through. Like you're tired of feeling in this regret, in this sorrow and you're ready to take a stance and you're ready to make more money. You wanna make more money, you wanna be stable and you're taking the steps to do it. You're doing it. After a long period of not doing it, you weren't doing something for a while and you finally went towards that all while feeling so defensive of doing this and you still did it or this is your future but either way you're going forward regardless if you're scared regardless if you're defensive you're going to get that money and you are going to be successful and you don't care anymore you're over it like you're just ready to make money you're ready to level up you're ready to ascend and yeah like this heartbreak really probably pushed you into that um, but yeah, like regarding your career finances, I see great things. I see really, like, this is really positive. Um, you're manifesting a lover 100%. Like you are so independent at this moment. You're not, you may or may not, but I'm getting that you're really not thinking of like a relationship right now, but it's crazy because you're like bringing in stuff because you're letting go finally you're letting the universe do what it needs to do you're working on yourself and you're working on things that don't have something to do with like always trying to be in a relationship or you know some people like they always have to be in a relationship but you are not like that at this moment you are ready to like get money and focus on your money and yourself so you're really committed to this you want your wish fulfillment and you're gonna get it so there's this male who sees this. He's a little guarded. He's a little defensive. There may be a few because you're not making a decision on them. That's how they feel. So they feel like you're not making a decision. You're leaving them out in the cold. So they're a little conflicted because you are just so strong that they can't even stop you. So they may be up all night anxious. You know what I mean? You're just a strong, independent woman. There's nothing they can really do. They juggled you and you went into your new cycle. And that's really it. So, All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.